Hi gamers, and welcome to what's most likely the last collection update video I'm gonna do in this game room. I'm moving uh, at the turn of the month, uh, so just in a couple of weeks now, and uh, <laughs> I'm stressing over how I'm gonna move everything in the game room. I got over 2,600 games here and a ton of consoles, and all of the miniatures and uh, Amiibo and uh, everything, so it's it's gonna be a task and a half for me to move. And here we are, uh, my uh, last uh, collection update that I'm gonna do here. And uh, I'm definitely gonna be once I get uh, the new uh, game room up and running. I'm, I'm gonna do, of course, a full room tour again. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so let's see what I got here. This time I got a nice. Nice and varied bunch of new and old. I got the retro stuff at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, starting here with uh, Switch games. First up, I got Xenoblade Chronicles a Definitive Edition. So this is of course a uh, port or remaster uh, of the Wii Super Classic uh, Japanese RPG. And uh, the Definitive Edition here not only boasts uh, some uh, crisper visuals uh, compared to the uh, quite fuzzy Wii version but also has some brand new content and what's good about it is, uh, is that you can actually uh, you know just jump right into the new content you don't have to play through the game or anything if you have played the game but don't want to play it again here on the Switch you can just dive into the uh, added content so, so that's that's pretty nice And the second Switch game here, I got 51 Worldwide Games. Now I know uh, this looks like uh, many of the uh, uh, other shovelware uh, compilations of games. You know, you get dozens and dozens of games in one one package. And uh, yeah, the quality is, is uh, almost always pretty bad. But this is a Nintendo first party game uh, published by Nintendo and uh, has all of the... Uh, uh, you know, quality assurances that you'd ex expect from a Nintendo game. It's very well presented, and the menus are great, and uh, yeah, the games are, are really well made. And there is uh, 51 uh, actual uh, board games or card games or, or anything uh, like that here, and uh, I can really recommend this. Uh, my son loves the darts game here, it's one of those that uses the uh, uh, motion uh, sensing of the Joy-Cons and uh, you can also do uh, some cool stuff like um, uh, have a you know an electronic uh, car track and you can actually put uh, several switch consoles under the table and have the track go through all of the screens there it's pretty cool most of the games here are playable with two players and some three and four player games are here as well so this is something in a uh, we're definitely definitely going to be playing in my next uh, uh, game meet that I'm going to be hosting for sure uh, in my uh, new uh, new house uh, for my friends. Next up, I don't know if this is news for you, but uh, every GameStop in Finland is uh, closing down at the moment, and it's not even about uh, uh, you know the virus situation. Uh, they were in dire straits even before that. Well, that's that's true in anywhere of the world. GameStop is in in trouble, but uh, they had actually uh, announced that they're going to be closing all of the stores even before uh, before the virus uh, destroyed all of their uh, remaining uh, 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 sales that they were they were going to be having. But uh, yeah, now they're they're closing down. I think like half of them are are gone already. But I just stumbled upon one uh, that had some pretty decent uh, sales going on. Uh, they had like 60% uh, off of used PS4 games and 70% off of used Xbox One games. So those are the kind of uh, sales that uh, I can get behind. So I got uh, quite a few uh, games here. Just uh, nothing too special, nothing valuable or anything like that. 
uh, pretty common games, but just games that I hadn't picked up for, for some reason. And now I paid for like two or three or four or five uh, euros for each of these. Uh, for Honor, for the PlayStation 4. I got Destiny the collection, which is just for, for collecting purposes. I, I think this cost me like, this was like five euros. Uh, the uh, uh, price on the cover here and uh, that was 60% off so yeah like two euros left so <laughs> then for the Xbox one I got Far Cry Primal also another Far Cry game uh, Far Cry 4 and uh, one more uh, Halo Wars 2 for some reason I, I, I kind of liked Halo Wars on 360 and uh, I actually didn't even remember that uh, number two came out uh, so yeah uh, I, I paid like four euros for this so yeah pretty decent sales for once uh, I think GameStop is going out of business because they are way too expensive uh, all of the used games there are almost the same price as, as, as new games and uh, yeah the new games being opened you know they have just one one game in the store and if you want to get, get the new game uh, it's out of the uh, plastic wrapping and uh, they take out the disc and put it in and here's your new game so yeah uh, it, it's still kind of a shame because there aren't that many uh, you know game stores in Finland and they were the only chain basically uh, but uh, we still have especially I, I live in the, in the uh, capital area of Helsinki here, so there are still uh, a few game stores, of, of course, left uh, for uh, for me, customers like me. But uh, in many smaller cities, they were the only place to get games, uh, uh, you know, apart from like supermarkets or something like that. But uh, yeah, those those kind of places don't get uh, very good, uh, uh, you know, selection of games. So uh, it's it's still a shame that they they had to go, but yeah, they were really outdated. Basically, most of the store was uh, dedicated to Funko Pops and uh, T-shirts and everything like that, like that. So they were really struggling, and now they're out, at least in Finland. Uh, before retro, I uh, got one more uh, modern game here. This one wasn't uh, discounted. I wish it was, but I got Resident Evil 3 for the for the Xbox One. I really, really loved Resident Evil 2 and the remake, uh, as did everybody else in the world. It was a really, really a fantastic uh, uh, remake. Uh, lots of new stuff, but uh, the uh, uh, what was old was uh, spot on and uh, of the atmosphere. Great action, uh, nice puzzles, and uh, great story. And uh, yeah, everything was just perfect. So of course people were expecting Resident Evil 3 to be perfect as well, and it really isn't. Um, of course, much of it is about the very nature of Resident Evil 3, the original game. It's uh, you know it's more, way more linear than Resident Evil 2 and 1, uh, where you had basically a, a one big location that you're going back and forth, whereas in Resident Evil 3 you're basically going uh, forward at a breakneck speed sometimes you have to you have basically uh, lots of smaller areas that you you sometimes yeah go back and forth but most, mostly you're just going forward and once you leave an area you can't go back to it and all that but nemesis is just bullshit i'm just gonna lay it out there it's it's terrible ai it's horribly scripted Everything is just, you know, you're going one way and, uh, yeah, oh, boo, Nemesis is there. And uh, then you're going the other way and it just magically teleports there. It's it's not like in Resident Evil 2 where, uh, you know, you're uh, being hunted by the indestructible uh, enemy there and uh, it's, you know, it, it actually goes through the motions uh, of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, walking at a, at a, at a uh, specific pace and uh, going where you're going but uh, Nemesis just teleports it's really stupid and it's really obvious and uh, it's especially obvious when you um, if you die and I have to play a section uh, again 
and uh, the Nemesis just teleports to the exact same location each and every time. It's just stupid. Uh, and there are basically no puzzles in the game. There are a couple of sections that you have to do <laughs> something else than shooting. Just push a couple of buttons, but you, I don't even would, would call those puzzles. And that, that's something that uh, you know, is, is really a part of Resident Evil for me. And uh, yeah, this was just a huge, huge letdown. I, I, I can't believe I paid full price for this. And uh, I don't know, check it out if you can get it for a significant discount. But just don't expect it to be as good as Resident Evil 2. And then we get to the uh, uh, retro stuff. We got a couple of games for the Super Nintendo. Uh, got Looney Tunes Roadrunner. And uh, also got uh, Claymates. And uh, these were uh, something that I found uh, just out in the open, out in the wild, uh, at, a <laughs> at a game store. So uh, yeah, I always try to support local game stores who are selling retro. So uh, yeah, these were boxed, uh, completed in box. And uh, yeah, uh, I hadn't, uh, I, this I played as a kid. I remember enjoying it a lot. Well, then again, I enjoyed pretty much every game as, as a kid, uh, but this one I, I didn't play, uh, I hadn't played before. But uh, yeah, I like the clay uh, aesthetic games, they're usually pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, I got a, got a decent price for, for these. I actually got a ton of uh, stuff uh, that I had in my uh, closets, uh, loose games and uh, some, some game memorabilia. Uh, like loose boxes and manuals and uh, stuff like that. Uh, all kinds of stuff that I uh, didn't want to display on my shelves. Uh, they were either in, in, you know, they w weren't complete enough for me to add to my collection. But uh, yeah, they still ha had some value uh, that I, I, I didn't want to just throw them away, so I got a, a bag of those and went to the game store and I ask, asked what I could get in uh, in, a, in a trade and uh, he said X amount of euros and I, I got these and uh, paid some, some more, but it's it's a really good feeling to get, get rid of something. Some of those uh, things I had for like 10 years <laughs> uh, in, in, my, in my closet just waiting for for a new owner and uh, it was just really nice feeling to, to get rid of all of those in in one fell swoop and uh, yeah uh, getting getting rid of some stuff uh, for the move I got plenty of stuff to move even without uh, without all of the uh, junk and uh, I, I, I'm feeling pretty good uh, about the amount of junk that I currently have I got rid of uh, most of the stuff that I uh, that I wanted so yeah, that's that's always always nice, and uh, made some some uh, quick bucks to uh, put uh, towards some other games that I I I got even before my move. Of course, I'm not going to be stopping buying games <laughs> until I until I move. So uh, you got to get these uh, when you can, and uh, I'm talking about Neo Geo AES games. It's been a little while since I got previous uh, previously AES games. So here we have a. Uh, Cross Swords, which is a really uh, uh, different kind of uh, Neo Geo game, different kind of arcade game. Basically, you have a. Let's try to zoom in here. You're playing this uh, wireframe character from behind uh, the character's back, so it's see through, and uh, you're advancing through uh, levels and uh, uh, fighting and you got your experience points and uh, health points and spells and uh, you can visit the store and buy some more swords and uh, yeah, so basically like an action RPG that you could play in the arcades. Uh, and uh, happy to be adding this to my AES collection. I'm creeping up on the 50 game mark. I got now 49 games uh, after this. Uh, Cyberlip. This is uh, it's 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 not Metal Slug, uh, but it's 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 pretty fun a run and gun shooter. This is something that I remember remember playing as a kid uh, on a cruise ship. We have this uh, Finland to Sweden and Sweden to Finland uh, 
mini cruises for like one day and uh, they uh, when we were kids those were great fun to go on a, on a little cruise and uh, uh, buy all the candy there and uh, just uh, play all the arcade games it, it was uh, the, these ships were the play, best place to play arcade games when I was when I was a kid so that was always great fun I, I remember playing a game uh, uh, kinda like Metal Slug I, I, I thought that it was Metal Slug, but when I saw the screenshots for Cyberlip, you know, many many years later, I knew that oh, it was Cyberlip. I really liked that game, and uh, so yeah, happy to have it. This is the U.S. U.S. copy uh, of of the game, English copy, and uh, yeah, in in really really great condition as well. So happy to be adding this to my collection. So number 49 in my Neo Geo AES collection. Hopefully I, I'm going to be able to go to uh, Japan later this year. We have our uh, flights uh, uh, booked, but it's of course uh, still up in the air if we're going to be able to enter the country or not. So hopefully and uh, definitely going to be getting some more Neo Geo AES games while in Japan. Uh, that's it for this collection update. Like I said, this is going to be the last one, last update uh, video that I'm going to be doing from this game room. It's served me for for over ten years. Uh, really weird to be leaving it now, and but really, uh, really anxious to uh, get uh, my new room layout up and running. I got everything. Uh, figured out on paper where I'm going to be putting each shelf and uh, got a couple of surprises there so uh, something really cool coming up that I is going to be part of the uh, interior decor there in the new new game room so definitely stay tuned for for that video I think it's going to be a couple of months because it's it's going to be a task and a half for me to get all of the shelves uh, up on the wall and uh, organize all all of the games and uh, yeah it's 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 gonna take some while uh, gonna gonna take some time but uh, it's I promise you it's gonna be worth it. Um, thanks for watching this collection update video. Follow Fin Game on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to the to this channel uh, and uh, be sure to turn on the notifications from the bell icon so you'll know when I'm gonna be uploading some new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.